Hi, I'm Warren Bjornsson from the Service Training Center, Electromotor Division in LaGrange, Illinois. This is the second in a series of videos covering MDEC, the electronic fuel injection system. If you have not already done so, this might be a good time to have a look at the first video in the series called An Introduction to MDEC. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the proper procedures to be used when performing top deck adjustments on EMD engines equipped with MDEC. We will cover valve lash adjustment, injector plunger adjustment, and injector calibration procedures. Troubleshooting procedures are presented in a separate video, Troubleshooting the MDEC System. Shown in this video is a basic system for illustration purposes only. Always consult the proper engine maintenance manual for your application. Before starting any maintenance work on the EMD engine, follow the safety rules for your location to ensure that the locomotive is properly secured and protected, using blue flags if required. Also protect against accidental engine starting by removing the starter motor fuse. The tools we will be using today to perform our engine adjustments include a 15 16 box end wrench, a 15 16 socket, preferably one half inch drive, a calibrated torque wrench of at least 100 foot pound capacity, a standard slot screwdriver, a one or one and a half thousandths of an inch feeler gauge or piece of shim stock, a valve lash minimum clearance gauge, a laptop computer with the PC reader software and connector cables, and your engine maintenance manual. Let's begin by performing the lash adjustment on this EMD 710G3B EC. We'll use cylinder number 10 for our demonstration. Proper valve lash adjustment is critical to the operation of the EMD engine. Improperly set or defective valve lash adjusters can lead to poor engine performance, high fuel consumption, or serious engine damage from valve failure. The procedures presented here will ensure that the lash adjusters are properly applied and set correctly. This must be done at intervals specified in the maintenance instructions or whenever the valve mechanism has been disturbed, such as in power assembly or injector changeout. Before performing any engine adjustments, ensure that the pointer has been qualified. This task is covered in detail in Section 7 of the Engine Maintenance Manual. Open the cylinder test valves and bar the engine over until the pointer is at the correct degree indication for the cylinder you are working on. On engines equipped with the mechanical injection system, this setting was typically top dead center for turbocharged engines, and four degrees before top dead center for roots blown engines. However, with the MDEC injection system, Adjustments are now made at 41 degrees after top dead center. This will allow setting of the lash adjusters and the injector plunger at the same time. The injector timing plate located at the right rear corner of the engine shows the correct flywheel indication for each cylinder. To perform the adjustments on cylinder number 10, we can see that the pointer must be set at 356 degrees. 
Loosen the two adjuster screw lock nuts on the exhaust valve rocker arms, taking care not to damage the fuel jumper lines or the injector wiring harness. Back out the adjusting screws until the valve bridges are loose. Insert the feeler gauge or shim stock between the top of the valve stem and the lash adjuster plunger. Slowly turn the adjusting screw down until you feel contact. Now remove the feeler gauge and try to insert it between the valve stem and the lash adjuster plunger on the other valve. If the feeler gauge enters the space freely, continue to tighten the adjusting screw until contact is felt. You must ensure that both valves contact before completing the adjustment. Remove the feeler gauge and tighten the adjusting screw one and a half turns to compress the lash adjusters. Check the valve bridge spherical seat to make certain that it is spring-loaded against the cylinder head. If the valve bridge is not seated properly, continue to tighten the adjusting screw until the seat contacts the cylinder head. Then turn the screw down an additional one-quarter turn. Snug the lock nut with the wrench while holding the adjusting screw. Torque the lock nut to 80 foot-pounds. Now repeat the procedure for the other valve bridge assembly on cylinder number 10. Once the valve lash has been properly established, we'll set the injector before moving on to the next cylinder. Although the electronic injectors are similar in appearance, and perform the same basic function as the mechanical injectors, all timing and metering control is performed by the ECMs through the internal wiring harness. Unlike the mechanical injectors, because timing is controlled electronically, we no longer time the injector to the camshaft using the timing tool. Instead, we will set the plunger travel to prevent damage caused by the plunger bottoming out in the pump chamber, while still allowing the injector to develop maximum pressure. With the cylinder still positioned at 41 degrees after top dead center, loosen the injector adjusting screw lock nut. Slowly turn the adjusting screw downwards until you feel the plunger bottom in the pump chamber. Now back the adjusting screw out one and one half turns. Hold the adjusting screw while you snug the lock nut. Complete the adjustment by torquing the lock nut to 80 foot-pounds. You are now ready to move on to the next cylinder. Once the mechanical adjustments have been completed on all engine cylinders, the injectors must be calibrated using the PC Reader program with a laptop computer. Calibrating the electronic fuel injectors is equivalent to setting the rack adjustment on the mechanical systems. All injectors must be set to deliver identical volumes of fuel. When the electronic injectors are manufactured, the output of the injector is measured, and the injector is assigned a calibration code. The calibration code is then used by the ECMs to match the performance of all injectors. Our task will be to input the calibration codes for all injectors into the MDEC system. 
The first step in the procedure is to record the calibration codes for all injectors. Depending on the age of the injector, there are two methods of obtaining this code. Older injectors have a number stamped into the side of the injector body, next to the wire connectors on the right-hand side. This number must be cross-referenced to a calibration code using the injector calibration listing. Newer injectors have the two-digit code engraved on the top of the control portion. Record the code and cylinder number of all injectors on the engine. To input this information into the MDEX system, we must use the PC Reader program with a laptop computer. There are typically two MDEC access ports on the locomotive. The first one is located in the AC cabinet at the rear of the locomotive, on the interface module. The second port is located beside the EM2000 locomotive control computer, in the locomotive cab. With the engine shut down and the fuel injection system enabled, connect the PC reader to the diagnostic port. When the program is started, the initial screen should come up to confirm connection. Note that all data for the ECMs and engine parameters should be displayed. If no data is available, check all connections. Check that the injection system is powered up and restart the PC Reader program. From the main screen, select the function key F2, labeled Injectors. This should take you to another screen used for injector calibration and injector testing. To input the injector codes, use the up and down arrow keys to highlight the injector code you wish to modify. Simply type in the new code and proceed to the next injector. If an injector already has the correct code, it is not necessary to re-enter the code. Once all codes are entered, you now have to transmit the data to the ECMs. Select the function key labeled Write to ECMs. The revised calibration codes will now be written into the ECM's memory to complete the procedure. Press the Escape button to return to the main screen. A complete set of instructions for using the PC Reader program and other troubleshooting tools can be found in the troubleshooting video, the MDEX student text and the Engine Maintenance Manual. Once the mechanical adjustments and the electronic calibration procedures are complete, we have a couple of final checks to perform. Start the engine and allow it to reach normal operating temperature. Using the PC reader, check the response times of all injectors. Normally, a properly functioning injector will have a response time of between 1.3 and 1.5 milliseconds. One or two injectors with response time significantly different than the rest should be checked. On the engine, listen for any noise from the valve mechanism. A pronounced ticking noise indicates a faulty adjuster that must be replaced. 